Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Strategic Command War in the Pacific. Welcome back here in our allied campaign versus the veteran II, And welcome back in June 44 where, well, surprisingly or really quickly, we've actually almost freed the entirety of the Philippines already. While we're also landing down here in Java and pushing up here to the um, oil fields. Pushing down to the sea with the Chinese, landing in Burma, so everything is going pretty, pretty well. Um, question is how quickly we can end this war at this point if we have to wait for a nuclear uh, yeah, strike or if we're actually planning a landing in the Japanese islands itself, I don't know, or if we take down the morale in another way. We shall see, um, yeah, we're doing pretty well, the situation is quite uh, nice and yeah, I don't fear the enemy too much anymore. So, um, for this reason, let's just jump in, see the replay and watch what the enemy did and then we shall see. How we proceed yeah, it's been a little while since the last recording um morales boosted by the duration of nunning is nunning it's not nunjing we're taking nunjing nunning was in north vietnam right or south of most china china yeah it's been a while this, um, as i'm as i dropped in the comments here and there um oh in the meantime overlord is happening normandy is being invaded Each has a Normandy have been secured. Yeah, so a lot of stuff has been happening. My my life has been surprisingly uh, yeah intense these days. I don't want to complain too much, but just this is the reason why. Oh, I haven't seen a Japanese sub like this in a long time. Damage to this, um, area, but okay. So yeah, sorry for the not so regular content these days, but uh, we'll find a solution at some point and I'm definitely gonna keep this one up or like this channel for sure and also that we're gonna finish this campaign, of course. So no worries on this front, it just might take a while here and there. But thanks uh, for the support anyways, the channel has been surprisingly growing in the time where I didn't post videos, so maybe people enjoy me not doing stuff. How, how comforting and motivating. Are really, really getting hit hard. Oh, strategic bombers took our tactical bombers out. Wow, the Japanese Air Force. Is this, not, is this, this might, might be a tactical or a um, medium bomber because strategic ones I would have been, I mean, versus airfields, I've never really used them. I mean, this level one, no, no upgrade tactical bomber of the Chinese doesn't really hurt, nor would the uh, tank actually lose them. Wow, five damage from the Komi army over here, that's crazy. Yeah, the forces hit the Japanese army here in uh, in China it seems to be able to still deal a lot of damage to us and bring us into difficult situations, however, eventually we still will push them back. I mean, they, they, they strike hard but not uh, decisively, so that would anyhow change or alter the course of the campaign. At least that's what I think. And I mean, as long as the Japanese are pumping in these like resources here into China, I feel like the allies in the Pacific <laughs> have a way easier go. Right, there we go. I think, was there even a full loss? Oh yeah, the tactical bombers, which is okay. Wow, great, great um, submarine action once again. Yokohama has been defended, okay. Alrighty, but we get a new army with this, and yeah, nice reinforcements. But as always, we're gonna start here in the very north, where, yeah, this doesn't look great. I was hoping that um, I was hoping that we could encircle Kaigan, but at this current point, they seem to be very I mean, 
mean, this was the cast was so cheap that's the only two I attacked, but yeah, it wasn't didn't really pay off. No, like this, we're not going to make any big success over here, but whatever. The enemy got occupied, that's in this case the most important thing. Yeah, that's. Anyways, we're gonna take their positions. Okay, can't move in here. Hmm, we should, definitely should. I think we need another commander in this area, but. I think one was kind of on the way. I mean, in the north, we're just holding the line because the main success story is down here. Where, okay, Nanjing, unfortunately, is now occupied. So I guess we're not taking it this turn. But yeah, sooner or later, for sure. We're going to sow in hard in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. Let's take out these boys first. Munching, the circle is closing, that's what we wanted. Here these the tanks. Yeah, they can hold the line here, we just refresh them. I mean they will have a hard time, but it is what it is. Can you fortify here or not because of anyways? Pioneers hold the line too. First attack the landing. Just to weaken them a bit. Unfortunately we can't get through to the air force over here. Sad, not optimal, but okay. Okay, then we bring the artillery here to position. Command these boys. They command those, that's okay. We kind of have no fighter support, that's a little bit problematic. Otherwise, I would love to use our bombers down here to strike supplies. Um, but there were fighters up here, and I don't want to sacrifice them too easily. Maybe I'm gonna have them wait for a bit. Are we moving them in general, like operating them down here so we can help out with an attack into northern Vietnam? Maybe, because here uh, I think we're catching up anyways. Let's do that. Bring them to Lushu. Looking great over here. And then, yeah, these guys need reinforcements, each of them. That was a mistake. This army can't really be util get utilized over here. And Rangoon, that's my still quite hard one. We're taking some damage here with our battleships, but I wanna bombard it. Um, even though in the end, uh, it, um, supply value oh, has been reduced, nice. Entrenchment and, and morale, I'm not sure. Mount mainly goes against the city, but sometimes I have the feeling when I check these kind of values that it also reduced morale and readiness. Um, well, we gotta try. Just fight them down. Nice, good one. Sad. Um. What? Oh gosh. Not even one more attack, that's really annoying, but okay, then we could bring actually tanks in here. Desert Rats next to Rangoon, I think next turn I'm quite hopeful that we can do it. This army here, no, no, 
no option for reinforcements, so well, it is what it is. But, of course, we are attacking also from the north, which is beautiful. Um, Janisa following up can only reach this from the air. Which is okay, I guess. Then, uh, definitely we're gonna... These boys here, the Brits, get reinforcements. They can't get anywhere, that's okay, so... Chinese attacking here. The Hatta HQ and destroying it. Very nice. Moving with the tanks in the jungle. Uh, not optimal, but it is what it is, of course. Um, oh, we can't reach even Mandalay. Okay, sick. Then... Probably this is not optimal for the supply for the next two nights, okay? Yeah, okay, then we slowly siege them. I don't have to attack if there is no value in this one. This, this group over here seems to be able to escape, but yeah, it's also not great for them. But it's gonna take a while and they're out of the business right now. That's not no problem for us. Ships are in defense. Great stuff over here. Alrighty, uh, let's get to the Pacific, where we do have. Let's start this repairing some things over here. Slash upgrading. Um, you keep on hunting. You keep on hunting. You keep on hunting. Mm, these new destroyers that showed up. Do we have like a cruiser? Anything in surface vessels that, that can easily attack them? Not really. Uh, we don't have the passage over here. Well, maybe before we get to the Pacific, um, let's try and move forward here on this front. These guys have been fought down, right? And we still have also these Kanga forces. Wow. Um, okay, are we gonna do that? Hitting it for one one is okay. Oh. Well, it is what it is. The British submarines are going to be very present around here. Bandwing. Can we get it down already this turn? Hey, how strong are our Australian tanks? Uh, I think we can try it like this, at least. Wow, why is Dilly over here so annoyingly strong? Sometimes I don't really get why some garrisons... I mean, we have really bad supply here. I guess that plays definitely in a row. Hmm. I guess it's a good idea actually to put this turn in the Okay. We will attack, but just here. Come on. Why this was a zero? Ah, oh, man. Alrighty. It is what it is. Let's reinforce these boys over here. Bring the US tank over here as well. Which will... Um, yeah, with these guys, I think Bandwang we can break through next turn. Hopefully, hopefully. Alright. Um, is there any chance we attack maybe? It would have been very surprising. 
that is not the case. Um, but maybe let's actually bring this group then in over here. This battleship group build go into the Java Sea. We do have also our Kanga 4. I mean, is Batavia even occupied? That's a good. Yeah, it's been more than a week since I recorded last. I'm not 100% sure actually what I planned in mind for our landing craft coming in over here. I guess this one can't land anyways this turn. But the Australian Kanga Force here, let's see. Um, Wow, that was strong. Uh, Batavia is occupied. Okay, five damage here. We, uh, we have, do we have? We don't have any fighters down here. That's crazy. Uh, we moved them all to other spots. I mean, we do have um, aircraft carriers. Yeah, okay, they have at least garrisoned everything over here. I mean, we could use it to destroy basically these this, this level 1 dudes and land in the back of Banduang, but I have a strong feeling that we can do, get it done anyways next turn, so maybe it's not the smartest. I knew that the Scepter was still there, no worries guys, but I took it into account and I risked it to be honest. Also, first of all, for the reconnaissance, both to just occupy them. Palembang also um, and to bombard these oil fields just like this is three damage is like three I think value yeah three per point so nine damage each is 18 damage uh, 18 MPP less that the enemy has next turn or that when it collects next time so kind of nice. Have we used the Essex to quickly destroy this carrier? Maybe that's actually a good idea. But I wanna... Well, the submarine screen is, seems to be a little bit odd, but... I feel like we can risk stuff these days. Still bringing in also a red destroyer screen. That's okay. Alright, then we can. Since I'm already working on this one. Um, Yeah, I don't know where we want to get this uh, HQ down, so I'm waiting for this decision. PT is just controlling this area that's good, I think, and yeah, you can go for repairs. Anybody here? Strong without it. Solomon Sea is clear, that's the beauty. Um, yeah, the third core, we have the Kanga for us. In the back somewhere, we're just landing here and taking places like Bali Kapan. Or we should, let's see if it's free actually. It is. Ah, this is such a quick takeover of this one. And actually, we have so much available, we can push ourselves up and then reload other guys back on their transport vessels. So let's do it. I think I'm gonna. I want to use this one to ta quickly take it. And thereby we can also take these oil fields over here. Uh, there shouldn't be too much resistance in the area, granting us some more space and crippling the enemy of more um, oil income, so I think it's helpful. Alright, then over here, maybe then bring this PT over here. Lovely maritime bomber, yeah, we wanted to always kind of have a check on troop. Uh, nothing here. Nothing here. Uh, 
lights. I don't know what we're gonna do with these partisans, to be honest. Yeah, and there we go, guys. Uh, we're gonna take quite easily Manila over here. Which basically means the entirety of the Philippines has to take it, right? Or am I... I do it. I do it. Uh, but I do think so. And we can... I'm not 100% sure how these uh, Zeppelins work, but to be honest, I think it seems like they have these strikes where they can reach and clarify everything more. Crazy guys. Um, didn't even know where we need these bombers now. MacArthur, okay, you're gonna get my mobility in this case so we can move you a little bit faster. Strategic bombers. Oh, we have even. Totally forgot about that one. Oh, we already, we already were like bombing it down so hard, so there, it's not even that much value anymore. Then it's the time to bomb some Taipei. Oh, we have this Chinese, China based interceptors. Even Taiwan is like ridiculously little defended. The enemy is so down. Hell, guys. I'm even more strategic bombardment. Well. That is what it is. And then. Yeah! Oh yeah, yeah, the Hornet needs reinforcements badly. Looking at this situation. Where we can we take her? Um, let's take her quickly to Rabal. Another turn anyways. Um, here, they're just gonna get intermediate reinforcements. But we're gonna occupy all the lovely harbors here. Of the Philippines. I can't believe how easy this one was or how, how quickly we just occupied the entirety of the Philippines. There was almost no resistance and we have these partisans left where I really don't know what to do with them if you have any great ideas for them. I mean we can like drop them on landing boats and let them take these tiny places. Well I guess that's an option. What was our problem here? Ah oh, yeah we couldn't. That, oh god. We, that any table problem was that we cannot do anything, right? Because this, this doesn't count as... They used their strikes already, these, these landing boys. Oh, God. And ships can't really deal them damage. That's really, really annoying. And to be honest, I really don't know what to do about that one. Um, was it an entire waste? Shall we just proceed over here? Because with the bombers, why can't our like really tacked up bombers not even deal damage to these boys? That's, I don't know, a little bit disappointing. Let's give them one hit. So the supply is at zero again. Mm, yeah. Not that helpful. Maybe we're actually going over here somewhere because here we have stuff places to land. It is what it is, I guess. It's a little bit unfortunate, but it's something we gotta do. Or maybe set mode one of them at least fighters. I mean, these little islands here are not going to be decisive for the outcome of the war, but it's still not nice to see. 
you go here. Hunt them down. You can explicitly go for these Chinese deliveries. The Manchukin, and then we have here another submarine coming in. Amazing. Amazing. Anything else? These boys, yeah, they, they're waiting. They're not getting any repairs this war anymore. Yeah. Obligatory control flights from Hawaii. I think I'm gonna leave them there to be honest because no reasoning, uh, yeah, getting them out. Tactical bombers operate, yeah. Now we're having the air forces growing and growing and we have new units also of course the Buckner HQ, the 5th Marines. First army for the Chinese. Now let's support here the north where things are going wild. Medium bombers for the Australians. And we still have a couple of MPPs left. We could get our tactical bombers back, but yeah. Or better fighters actually. I feel like fighters were actually would be useful since this was the only thing that really was missing recently, so come on. Let's get some fighters. I mean the end it is the it's not such a huge of a difference anymore. Um for the US, do we need anything important? Didn't even buy a lot of artillery, but I mean where would we place them? It's basically all for landings I mean these ones would even, wouldn't even arrive on time the, our big carriers if we build some now so no if let's get some escort carriers maybe just for fighter support and like that we can basically yeah let's do that how many can we get 203 yeah we can let's build two escort carriers fully tacked up just to secure the supply lines a little bit more from the, around the Philippines. Arriving still this year, very nice. Australians. And again, it doesn't really matter. Come on, it's, it's just now we're having fun. We're getting the Achilles, a light cruiser for the New Zealand fleet. That's fair. So they're also a little bit represented in there. Yeah, you're gonna laugh at me if it this in the end falls back at me and we're stuck somewhere not doing any progress. And or like losing the game because of my weird shamanigans over here. But come on. And yeah. The same with the Brits, or actually here we can use more support, so I'm getting another core in just because this can be actually quite useful. Okay, guys. Um, come on, let's 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 fire out another one. Loss of Mania, liberation of Mania. So the people are being liberated. Stalin provides more resources to Soviet armored forces in the Far East. I always forget about these port defenses, but okay. Yeah, Bagration. Army group center destroyed. And some nice first technological breakthroughs. Okay. A big retreat, can we call it that? But I always I think I feel like I said this every single turn. Like, yeah, submarines are suddenly showing up where that I haven't seen in a long time. Where were they? Like, screening the air? Or, oh, like, just the open seas for some random uh, ships from our side? 
nice that we were buying these escort carriers. Maybe I will do actually in more next turn. are taking such heavy I need a level one like um are we reset I hope we're researching yeah the damage to the Chinese is hard that's for sure oh gosh holy moly I think they have a lot of experience, partially the immediate Japanese troops, and when we meet elite troops um, with high tech, they can definitely deal some damage, but yeah, in the end, we, ha we have the abundance of it, yeah, so just so, so at the moment. Oh, we forgot about these boys, about Rabal, like destroying the flag, but whatever. And partisan activity in China, lovely. Again, I fire. Okay, wow. But still, great jobs. Oh, and the Philippines are back, so we can produce their troops. Okay. Did we order these destroyers? I think they just came in from the west. Probably after Overlord, the Brits have excessive uh, ships. Okay, and as always, we're gonna start with the Chinese, of course. Oh, oh, we ran out of supply. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, really? Are we losing? Oh, I maneuvered our calf into a supply-less situation. We're gonna lose them. I mean, it is what it is. Then let's upgrade. That's. I know it's costly, but there's nothing else to do for us right now. And yeah, we're gonna just hold the north, northern front as it is. While we're making progress in the south, I mean, that's the, the, the trade-off over here. Let's, let's see, let's kick off with our progress in the south. Where we start the attack on Nanjing. Or uh, Nanning? Nanjing. Nanjing, right? The capital. Where the infamous massacre happened. Oh, Shanghai is free. Come on, guys. This, uh, this. But I, I come on. The tankers will. The tanks will. Are you? Are you really? Come, come on. There we go. And then, oh. The tough battle of Nanjing is over, guys, and we're moving towards Shanghai. Nanjing, the former capital of the Kuomintai, has been fried. Kuomintai? Uh, I hope, um, yeah, 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 I think so. Or, 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 or beat me. Has been freed. This is a huge success, and basically we're gonna take Shanghai very soon as well. Keep the pressure up over here. Mm -hmm. Nice, and I think with these extra forces incoming, Shanghai will be only a matter of time, and then we can move north towards um, yeah, either Beijing or Qingdao. But look at this, like from a former world front line, was we freed basically half of the coastline of China already. Amazing. Again, stupidly done by my side, but it is okay. Just keep the pressure up, that's the idea. These boys. Probably that's the way how most uh, military disasters are made. By, yeah, just do it, just keep the pressure up. <laughs> no worries, we're super superior. But we are. <laughs> um, yeah. Why can't we move forward here? That's crazy. Well, I need 
too. These, these the, the infrastructure here is really terrible, as you as you might know or might have guessed. Another attempt on Rangoon. Uh, starting off with another strike off our lovely battleships, just in case. Or oh, at least one of those. Oh, nice! The American forces closing out big time. Is this the end of Rangoon? I would sincerely hope so. Come on! Come on! Come on! There we go! <laughs> Whew. This was a really exhausting and long operation. But it has... It is done. Rangoon has been taken in there by the capital of Burma, um, enabling us here the access basically to Singapore and Bangkok from the British side. And with it, obviously, here we... To some extent the collapse of this front line. I mean these these are the leftovers and we due to the bad logistics we can't really keep up the pace. But it is what it is. Maybe I wanna shuffle here actually a chance in a better shape. Also taking here them now I think this will be only a matter of time and then we can focus into advancing into Siam. Nice. Okay ships remain ships remain over here yeah let's a look on the situation over here exactly um i guess priority is taking out bundwang and, and just like with the action points a little bit insecure with the australians i mean they have two attacks uh can be pretty useful maybe i want to shatter these guys first actually in the risk of uh taking out our entire voice over here but now with the tactical bombers come on guys uh, is it enough I and mean, they need to take these ones out well, let's do this switch here then exactly that's what i wanted Everything is so squished. Oh, lacking action points, lacking action action points. And they can't move anymore. What a success. Uh, yeah. Terrible logistics by the strategy wolf. Um, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, we gotta we will survive, it just slows us down for a little bit. Uh, we can bring them these boys back on amphibious transports and therefore make some space for other things. Um, yeah, I still haven't found a solution what we're gonna do about these ones. Definitely gonna take the oil fields over here with the Kanga forces. Some repairs in. No, nothing, nothing in Scotland. That's, that's the sad. sad story to be told over here. Oh, yeah, this one has to get somewhere else. Special forces can also get on board the landing ships again since we're doing quite well over here. Um, I think I might get these boys over here. Yeah, but worst case, we just hold out and have them for longer. That's actually not a big deal. HQ can support over here potentially. Oh, these medium bombers. We totally forgot about those guys, I guess.
the stack here with zero supply, what? And it was I kind of stupidly operated them here, I think. Didn't do any damage, right? Oh gosh, I think we're gonna take these paratroopers actually to the Philippines, where we have more use for them, potentially. Um, or allegedly, I'm not sure. Since, yeah, this will take them too long, and from here we can actually have them jump to Taiwan if we want to. So, yeah, we can't have a breakthrough here to Bandu Engholz out another turn, that's guess what we have to accept. All tactical bombers here. I mean, let's give them at least some trading. This is really disappointing. Why are we taking damage and no damage ourselves if somebody has a good... I mean, they look at them, they're like fully tacked up. They even have here an HQ support. That's, that's really sad. I mean, we can't have it all, of course, always, but... Yeah, sometimes things are not as you want them to be, but it's okay. Um, then let's get the... Okay, the situation. I mean, you're blocking off things super nicely here. Controlling entirety of the Java Sea, I think Japanese fleet is not showing anymore. Control to these crates with the PTs. Our carriers are here, are back in place. Let's see if, what we can do. Where would we land? Probably here in Saipan, right? I mean, it's the same. We can only bring down one unit again. Let's do some... Right, it was... Uh, I guess I have units here, of course. Yeah, probably they're both manned, right? Sacrificing planes. This is not going to be nice, <laughs> I can tell you that. Or Iwo Jima. Or Guam. But this is the only option where we can go right now, so for this reason. I'm gonna try that one. And we're gonna do also this one. Worst, worst case, we end up in a really disgusting <laughs> stalemate over here. Um, yeah. Let's destroy their supply. Problem is, once again, do you have the anti aircraft here? Well done by the enemy. But, but it can only fire twice, I guess. That's the idea. Harbor down. Let's destroy all the supply. Clear focus on side part. We should have fired first before we had the attack part. Okay. And the Iowa takes completely out. Um, with these supply levels, I'm optimistic. And let's Yeah, we didn't do any upgrades until uh, first cut. We didn't do any anti-submarine upgrades, that's the problem. Well it is what it is, and if the submarine strike here and there a bit at us, that's fine. Um Give them some in Rebel. Here's yeah, five. Let's not forget about those guys. A Miracle Core after the super long and or like unnecessarily long campaign over here. We missed them. Sad. These boys attacked. Yeah, if you have any deeper questions what I'm doing or you think I'm going a little bit too fast I am, I, you, and you're just joining in right now, I mean it's like in the late game, 
and I can afford this. But of course, if you have some questions or details, let me know down in the comments. I can go and answer them for you, no problem. To the west, we'll need you somewhere. Also, no, I'm just speculating there won't be any further submarines. I mean, given the uh, they showed up quite a big, big unit, a uh, number of t uh, units over here indicates that I think there shouldn't be too many around anymore. Okay, here we go. Didn't we give MacArthur mobility? Why is he so damn slow? Huh? Can we operate him? Probably because this will always take some time, I'm not sure. Um, in this case, I will spend more. What well, I don't care if MacArthur goes here. I will take up to load. The bombardment groups. Up over here, yeah. These oil fields are down, anyways, right? Um, let's check out our zeppelins. Ooh, uh, they are getting ready for a strong defense of Okinawa. Now, at least we learned how the zeppelins work, will be useful over here. These boys here, uh, we don't need to remain in the video. We also have Eichelberger here, that's something we should remember. Carriers here in this area. Let's not forget our control flights. Oh no, they attacked submarines this turn. All good, all good. Yeah, here we still have the partisans that are absolutely okay. I don't mind. Some, they can do some port garrisoning, I think. That's a good idea. And yeah, the strategic focus. Yeah, the Philippines were way too easy. While here we're stuck, I expected actually that we're gonna roll through here. And, uh, but yeah, sometimes plans turn out completely different. Or yeah, hard for me to write now spontaneously to uh, translate this. Um, nah. Oh my god, Clausewitz <laughs> quote with the. Uh, or was it Clausewitz even that um, a plan never survives the first contact with the enemy? Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably, Wolf. Anyways, um, yeah. A new HQ, Chen. Where wanted, did we want? Um, I think as the thought here would be one extra unit, very smart. And the third army, then let's bring them here too. Um, yeah, it's gonna be helpful for sure to put here in this area where the enemy still dares to attack. Yeah, no huge big bang this turn, I would say. I mean, yeah, we took. Was it Manila? Yeah, okay, Nanjing actually. Nanjing is a big bang, if you want. So, yeah, so Nanjing has been taken. Anything down here? Oh, yeah, we can. go raiding again and even harder yeah, amazing stuff let's quickly buy some stuff also with the Brits yeah I'm gonna stick with the plan I had and get more because now we're occupying Burma there will be the demand for more ground forces which is fine here I'm gonna get actually what I did last turn two more escort carriers just to have a absolutely Sick, um, yeah, network of aerial superiority or um, control. So therefore, I really like it, at least in my head. Um, the Aussies. Are we getting another light cruiser for the? No, nah, not really. We can save that up. The Soviets. Well, maybe after their success at Bagration, they enjoy mechanized troops. 
and I really doubt that the Soviet Union will be of any uh, importance in this, this conflict. Let's get another army, come on, the 7th army, just in case. You never know, uh, and we, here and there we're losing troops, so more Chinese ground forces will always be smart. Guys, I think that's it for this very turn. Um, I hope you're still enjoying it, um, and we are like harvesting the, the fruits of victory. Thank you for watching, and of course, if you have any questions, let me down, know down in the comments. I'm happy always to answer. And of course, if you're new here and you haven't done it yet, it would be simply fantastic if you leave a like and subscription to keep me going, push me a little bit, and as a little bit of gratitude towards my work. And thank you so much, that would be awesome. And then, most importantly, see you next time in the next episode. Bye. Your Strategy Wolf.